What's good, YouTube? <laughs> hey, Facebook. Um, where else I'm at? I'm on Instagram. Yeah, I haven't made a video like this in a while, right? I've been transitioning from yoga. Um, I box again now. For those of you that don't know, I used to box when I was like 14. So that's just one of many sports for me. I play baseball, track, football, um, wrestling, um, track. Yeah, yeah. Um, military experience. So, man, I've, I've dipped my feet in many different passions. And I'm telling you, I have a passion for each each one of them. Um, but now um, it's boxing and yoga. On top of that, I got... Um, me and my girlfriend, my son, we have a place now. I got uh, my own place, and I'm here. But besides that, I want to talk about vibration. Because, you know, sometimes when you're listening, you're being more receptive in life, you have insights. You know, it's like these things just reveal itself to you. You know, uh, I kind of think that a lot, that life has a way of revealing itself to where... Um, these answers that you were seeking, you know, if you leave it alone and you just watch and pay attention, they kind of just open themselves up. So for me, vibration has been something that is on my mind a lot. Like, how is my vibration? How is my demeanor? How am I feeling and thinking uh, on a day to day basis? And, you know, I see myself as a pretty high vibrational person. And if I can't be high vibrational, um, I try to stay neutral. I'd say pretty even and uh, pretty much in the middle. And uh, I read this book, Becoming Supernatural, by Joe Dispenza. And it's a chart of vibration of different emotions that correlate to the wavelength of the vibration, right? So you have uh, very high vibrational emotions like joy. Uh, bliss, love, um, things like that. And those things, they vibrate very fast, right? You know, that's what you think when you think your higher self is blissed out, is joyful, um, happy, you know, things like that. Um, high vibration, right? And you have um, more lower vibrations, like uh, fear, greed, hate, and... Um, you know, now that you have this knowledge, what do you do with it? Because a lot of times we we know the answers. We know the way. It's the age of information. You know a lot. You probably know how to be a millionaire. But can you execute? Can you have that discipline? Um, can you put in the work? And is that really what you want? Because oftentimes we say we want one thing and our action says totally different. So, um, what do we really want in life? If you want a high vibration, yes. You know, who doesn't want a high vibration? Like, who doesn't want to be feeling good on a day-to-day -day basis, right? So, what I discovered is, or well, more like a rediscover, um, the lowest vibration on that list was lust. It was actually lust. Um... And it blew my mind because when I was when I read the book and I seen lust as a low vibration, it's like, well, can't get rid of that one, right? So, what I noticed is, okay, all these times I'm having these high vibrational days, over and over, like I'm feeling good, I'm feeling bliss, I'm feeling pretty happy, right? Just high off life, you know, and um, I feel like I'm going in the right direction, you know, and. So, but the deeper thing that I notice is when I'm having these lustful thoughts, I figured out that's actually very low vibration. So these whole times, like I'm thinking these lustful thoughts, you know, I'm thinking like, you know, just being, being a, a freak, you know, because uh, I think that's just how people are sometimes. Some, some people are just 
kind of lustful person. You know, I think we can all get past it with discipline. But what I noticed is lust is a very low vibrational state. And when I'm having all these horny thoughts, I'm actually having some of the lowest vibrational thoughts I can have, which is very interesting. And it's counterproductive to being faithful. It's counterproductive to being spiritual. Lust is actually an enemy to your spiritual development. And um, discovering that was like, you know, you can read something all day, but until it, you, it becomes experience, it becomes a part of your reality, it really is just words on the paper. But now, you know, I see how lust is a very low vibrational um, emotion. And it must be overcame to have a high vibration. And, uh, you know, having a high vibration may seem like it's, it's for you, but it can also be more. It can be more for you, it can be for the world, it can be for other people. You can just have uh, ways of vibrations at your workplace, in your home, in your community. So when you raise yourself, you naturally raise others. So it's important to take care of yourself and uh, realize yourself and have discipline um, because these lustful thoughts they kick my ass for a while you know and I'm someone who I can say that I've beat some things I've beat um, some things that has kicked my ass have kept me uh, low and uh, when you're in the midst of it you can't really see it just like when I read that book I'm getting all this knowledge but when I'm seeing it I'm like fuck that but when you take a step back, uh, you get a clear eye view that, okay, lust is very low uh, vibrational. And, uh, you know, I think sex has its place. But sex with love is not the same as sex with lust. You don't need lust. Love is beautiful. But without lust, I think things would be a lot better. Women would be treated better. Men be treated better. Um, we would treat the opposite sex better. Uh, but we're looking with eyes of love instead of lust. So, yeah, I'm gonna work on that. Replacing lust with love. And uh, see how life is. And this video was made with love, not lust. So, peace, like, um, subscribe if you're new. See ya.